Using the gyro swing is as simple as this. Put the last battery, tip up, go ahead and screw it in. And as you screw it in, you want to go ahead and get it to where you're turning it all the way on. And you'll hear the motor start. And that's when you know you've engaged it. Now, begin mini swings. Get your grip. Use the smart grip to position your hands correctly on the club. We know that people are gripping the club really poorly and it doesn't help their golf swing. So I look at the reminder grip, the smart grip, put it down in front of you here with your arms relaxed. Begin a little waggle. Feel the club head moving back and forth. You'll start to really sense the opening and closing in mini version. Move your feet a little bit the way the great players do to get into the waggle. Now, begin small hand arm motions back and forth. And what you'll notice is the face is really opening and closing very quickly. That's okay because it's encouraging my arms to swing. And as I swing my arms, I start to feel a lot of speed. But again, we know that in a golf swing, the bottom of the arc, we want to get the release point just in front of the ball. So we go ahead and start to pivot. And as I pivot, I continue these mini swings, take it to a full swing. You can see my forearms are working, my body is pivoting and moving into my right side, left side, right side, left side. I really feel the arms working back down the plane and I feel the face squaring up. Again, that release point's feeling out in front of the ball with a square club face. That's what you want. And as you do this, do it for a few minutes to develop the proper forearm rotation and movement. I also feel the proper motion of my legs and my trunk as I'm making my golf swing. That's the support you want. If I don't have any forearm motion, it's too excessively rotational. As I then add arm swing in, it improves my release point. Feels like it's more in front of the ball. The pivot really then helps me even more so to stabilize that rotation, which is the key to a great golf swing. After you've done this for a few minutes, go ahead and turn it off. You don't have to unscrew it all the way, just enough to where you start to hear it throttle down. And as you do that, continue making many swings. Now, all of a sudden, your muscle memory feels very engaged as it relates to doing exactly with what the golf club and the gyro swing were making me do before. This is the beauty of a golf swing. Go ahead and continue swinging into a full finish. And just do this a few minutes before you hit balls at home. Anytime. It feels really really good. Great habits create the right thing. So when you're out playing, you're not thinking about your golf swing. You're thinking about the feel of your swing and the correct feel more importantly.